Hello friends, what's up, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dami and on this channel, I create lifestyle, faith and beauty videos and everything in between. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to check out my channel for more videos like this and I hope you'll be blessed. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for your support. I really do appreciate you. Thank you for coming back and I hope that you remain blessed. So I wanted to share with you some of my tips from a first time buyer to another first time buyer. What I know now that um, I wish maybe I knew later or what I knew then that I felt helped me. My first point would have to be, there's never really a good time to buy property. I've spoken about in my previous property videos that, you know, there's something called the property cycle, the 18 year property cycle. And it kind of helps to depict maybe where the economy is, where the property um, season is, um, and that should help to inform your decision. But the thing about that cycle is that it's pretty difficult to tell, especially with what's going on now and post COVID, where exactly we are in the cycle. Um, you can only kind of look in retrospect and use that to inform your decision. So because of that, although there might be, you know, seasons, there might be a small margin of when would be best. So the usual rule is when people are scared to buy is the time to buy because you would catch a good deal then. And then when people are all out ready to buy, everybody's all about buying property, that's when maybe you might want to refrain a bit more um, just because they've gone to spike up the prices of property more than they need to be because lots of people are in the market competitive. If everybody is holding off to their money, then that should be the time you should be spending your money. So that's kind of the general rule of thumb when it comes to buying property wisely but despite all of this rule of thumbs despite all of the cycles and whatnot I have found in my little very little and short journey that there's never really a good time to buy property um I've shared my testimony where I didn't plan on buying property at the time that I did. I was even planning, when I started my property um, planning, I planned to buy in another city um, at the time. So really when I bought property, it was really just divine and really the favor of the Lord and the mercy of the Lord that really just helped me to go through that process and go through it smoothly. And now looking back, I can't imagine if I didn't buy then. That is why I said when I first started this um, property talk on this channel, Channel, that is very important to comment your ways on your plans to God and he would really direct you because he knows the end from the beginning he's the author and the finisher of our faith he is the first and the last so he knows how it's going to end so why not go to him and ask him and commit your plans to him so on that note I think the time is always now obviously with you know depending on various different factors but generally um, if you have the funds, if you've successfully saved what you need, I would always say just get on the property ladder. Um, moving on to my second point, um, I found based on the options that I got in, you know, what I wanted to pay monthly and my interest rate, I found that putting more money down um, opened me up to better interest rate opportunities. So depending on your mortgage advisor or the bank, you get a, get a couple of options of interest rates. At the time, I was offered as low as 1.8%. It was great. 1.8% in this day and age is is something else. Like now looking back, I wish I would have gone with that because you never know what's going to happen, right? But we should thank God for the ones that we got. Unless you are, the options that you have saved for, um, like the quality of house that you have saved for isn't really feasible and you know maybe it's not in a good location and all of that. So all of that can shift your decision to try and save a bit more. But if it's only for minor things, then I would say usually getting on the ladder um, it should be more of the priority. But in saying that, be aware that that's dependent on a lot of factors, on a lot of factors, because you want to make sure you're trying to get the best deal at the best at that time that you are purchasing. But in this point, for the options that I got, um, putting down, I wish I had planned to save a bit more, maybe save a bit more aggressively over the course of the time that I saved um, so that I would be able to afford to put down more and then I would have locked in um, a 1.8% for a good bit if, if I could then. But in all things, we give thanks. On that same note, 
um, understanding your goal for property is very important. I've spoken about this before where right? there are two different types of people, people that want to invest in property and people that just want to buy their home, right? So you need to know where you are, um, where you stand on that, whether you stand on an extreme end or in the middle or yeah, wherever, because it helps to inform what, what type of rates you go for. If you're going for a fixed rate or if you're going for a variable rate, um, it helps to inform how long that rate fixing is for. If you end up going for a fixed rate, are you going for a two year? Are you going for a three year? Or are you going for a five year? Sometimes I wish I went for less, um, but these times, and <laughs> these times that um, interest rates are going up, I'm grateful that you know I was the Lord led me to to secure a longer term fixed rate. But again, I wish that I had the I suppose I had done more research and reviewed my why because I think if you are trying to go down more of the investment route, um, fixing your rate for a prolonged period of time, um, in as much as it's good and it saves you, um any variability in your rate month to month, it kind of restricts you from being able to kind of do what you want with the money in the house and like, you know, turn around investments and all of that. So that's why I wanted, that's one of the reasons I was like, mm, maybe I shouldn't have, but with the season that we're in, um, it's always better. <laughs> it's always better to fix in a rate just because of the rate at which interest rate is going up at the moment. But if you're sure, again, based on your goal that let's say you are trying to turn around, maybe if you're doing a if refurbished property or if you're trying to, you know, sell back to yourself as a buy to let or whatever your strategy is, know your strategy, know what your strategy is, at least for the near future. Cause that would really help. Cause when you then are fixed in a rate, um, you will need to, um, pay more to be able to come out of that agreement with the bank, um, which would end up making you a bit stuck for, um, a couple of years if you've locked it in for that long and you need to kind of make financial moves. So having that at the back of your mind and knowing your strategy is very important. Obviously, if it's your forever home, this probably doesn't matter much because you want to lock it in at a good price for as long as you know as you possibly can. Um, another thing I think I did well um, that I would you know do again and advise anybody doing um, going on this journey is to do a lot of research. I've mentioned before, I started learning about property and just watching things about property um, a couple of years before I actually bought property. So by the time it came, again, I wasn't caught unaware, although I didn't plan for that time. Um, because of the knowledge that I had racked up, I was able to kind of, you know, go into the process you know, unprepared. I was prepared. Let me not say unprepared. I was prepared, but because I had back knowledge, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I had back, I had a lot of back knowledge of, you know, what was going on, what I needed, because again, like I said, the opportunity window was, was open. Obviously it doesn't last forever. So I knew I kind of, I was able to act quickly just because of, you know, the knowledge I was, I had, I, I had built up over the years. So I knew that, let's say I needed to get a mortgage advisor. I knew the person, the people to contact, to try and, you know, get a good mortgage advisor. I knew that I needed a solicitor. I kind of knew who I needed to kind of make the process move on and move on quickly. Um, and just knowing, you know, where I need like location and all of that, all of this is super important. So, and information keeps changing, but the generic thing is you want, you know, a good property, a property that is not run down unless you want to refurbish it in a good location and all of that. But it's not just about that. You see, you need to know what makes up a good location. What is, what, what is the characteristics of a good location? Um, is it just in the city or is it just in the country? What things have to be in place around to ensure that that makes it a good location that would be good for rental yield, right? You want to make sure you know what you're looking for when you are in the property viewing it to ensure that it wouldn't give you problems as much as the naked eye can see um, to all of that. So having having watched a couple of videos before that helped me to kind of just have a rough idea as to what I was going into. If you've not spent time doing that, then during your saving season is usually one of the best times too. So you're not in a rush. You can absorb as much content and know what is, you know, um, bonkers, what you need to drop and what you can, you know, run with. Right. So 
I hope this really helps somebody out there um, with my process. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you are a first time buyer um, or if you are in the property journey um, at all, you can give us some of your tips as to what you would tell yourself as a first time buyer back then um, and what you would tell a first time buyer now or someone that is preparing to just get on the property ladder. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.